Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by request where it's a review of the movie Hologram Man. And this one comes to us from fellow YouTuber, you and your horror movies. Okay. It's time to play another game of Does This Sound Familiar? Apparently this movie's supposed to take place sometime in the future. And a cop... In which, honestly, in the movie, they don't know if he's a rookie or a lieutenant named Dakota. D E C O D A. He's on the hunt for a maniac named Norman, who prefers to be called Slash. Well, they capture Norman after Norman takes out the governor and uh, Dakota's captain. And they wind up putting him into a sort of holographic prison and keep him in there until he's a good little boy and he can rejoin society again because that's what this is all supposed to do. Let me say that again. They take bad people, put them into a sort of holographic prison and try to rehabilitate them into becoming better members of society. Well, it's five years later. Norman is getting his trial, and it turns out he's not going to be released. But a hacker named Giggles, who actually works for the company, I believe their name was Calcorp or something like that, winds up hacking the system, and he winds up getting Norman out as a holographic prisoner. But then later on, Norman is able to get some sort of skin to where he can look human, but it can be burned off with fire, of course. So after many, many explosions that would make Michael Bay drool, and after, after it seems like the president is about ready to, to can Dakota's butt, he and his girlfriend, wife, I don't know, Natalie, wind up making... Dakota into a sort of a hologram man too because, well, he winds up getting almost taken out by by Norman, but yeah. Anyway, long story short, Dakota winds up putting Norman back in back into a sort of miniature holographic prison, zaps it, blows it up, goes to the president, president decides he wants to just pretty much do whatever he wants to, but Dakota says, oh, we're not going to have any of that. Zaps his limo and blows that up, too. So Natalie asks what they're going to do now. And all Dakota says before he walks off is, vote. The movie starred John Amos from Good Times, William Sanderson of New Heart, and Tommy Tiny Lister of Friday and No Holds Barred. So why did this movie suck? Well, for one, this movie kind of reminded me of at least three different movies. One of them has to be the most obvious. Which one of you said Demolition Man? Because if you did, give yourself a pat on the back. Because it's pretty much like Demolition Man. The future is pretty much like, we're all happy, and there's no bad stuff, and everything is just fantastic. Now, I would have thought it was going to be a ripoff of Hollow Man, but, well, I checked, and it turns out this movie was made in 1995, and Hollow Man was done in 2000. So, you gotta kinda take that out of the equation. It also kinda has a little element of shocker because, well, Norman can go through wires and stuff like that. In fact, in one, one scene in the movie, he winds up zapping. I can't remember who the guy was, but like, it really matters. Might have been the chief of police, I don't know. And for some reason, I also thought it kinda ripped off Tron because, well, you know, they're wearing suits and they're going through. Anyway. If you watch it, you might you, you might get that kind of feeling, too. I'm not really sure. Um, there's one scene where uh, <laughs> where Dakota and his and Natalie are about to have sex right after he gets his new skin. And it's literally electrifying. <laughs> I just went, oh, my God. And five and a half, about five and a half minutes into this movie, after an ex, after a after a big shootout between the good guys and the bad guys, 
there's a sex scene. And I'm like, really? You, could, you couldn't wait? <laughs> and seeing Norman drive the bus full of old people, I thought, they're ripping off Speed 2. Not Speed 2, but Speed, you know what I mean. Um, this, this movie is really, really bad, but if you want a movie full of full of just explosions, 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 hardly no plot, nonsensical plot, and a beefed up white guy with dreadlocks. <laughs> Just doing whatever he get. Oh, what, what, yeah, one more thing I gotta mention before I wrap this up. William Sanderson... He just kind of gave an I don't give a flying crap kind of performance. I did not take him that seriously as a computer hacker genius. So, yeah. Many more reasons to say why it sucked, but I'm running out of time. But there you guys have it, a review of Hologram Man. Special thanks to you and your horror movies for his request. Please go check out his channel and please subscribe to him. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi, horror, comedy, horror, fantasy horror movie that might have ripped off more than three movies but still went straight to DVD or video, send it my way, and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.